That's cool. All right, everybody, welcome back for day 10. Day 10, 10, 10 of this van build. What we're focusing on today is gonna to be the swivel seat that I got here from Iron Cloud Metalworks. Thank you, Derek, for getting this out to me. Uh, let's just open it up and have a look at it real quick. Pieces here, some bolts and nuts, some washers. This is the lever. Thank you for doing it, Mo Beta. Install instructions. Probably take a look at those. Wow. Yeah, they weren't lying. I saw so I saw many reviews on this on YouTube, and you know, it looks like it's really well made. You know, fabricators online are talking this up, and I can see why. Made in the USA. Alright. Well, I think I should take a look at the instructions. It looks like the instructions are, you know, you can go to his website ironcloudmetalworks.com slash support or you can scan the QR code. I guess we can install the taper grab handle. Looks like it's been refined from what I've seen on YouTube. It looked a little different. It's pretty cleaned up. Wow. I believe this is what you grab to help it swivel. Looks like it's gonna go right there. Hello. This is easy peasy stuff. Use a wrench on the bolt holding the handle. Tighten the bolt until the don't overdo it. Okay. It says don't over tighten. Step two, install the threaded lock assembly. This right here. But the threaded lock assembly is this piece here. Basically you thread it in to a position to keep the seat from swiveling. And unthread it so you, when you're ready to swivel. It tells us to flip it over. These little pads on which is nice doesn't hurt the floor while you're doing this thank you Derek okay what you're saying to do here you can see what I'm doing is to thread these two uh, jam nuts on the threaded lock handle until the end of the threaded lock handle is flush with this arm here okay, come back a little bit once you got the threaded lock handle flush up here where he where you're saying it's it needs to be and the jamming nuts are where they need to be grab two 9 16th wrenches and uh, hold one in place and tighten down the outermost one towards the one near your hand um, don't have two on me I got this little adjustable so I think this will do the job now this isn't what Derek said to do but it seems to be working all right Sorry. I think those are going anywhere and then he says to thread the lock handle in and proceed to the next step. So what he's saying to do next is to inspect this and make sure all these bolts are secure. You can grab a 19 millimeter socket wrench and make sure they are. You got five on the bottom and it looks like four up top. All right, next he's saying to make sure or get yourself familiarized with the locking mechanism, making sure the spring is attached to the proper places. And it's operational. Swivel, swivel. So you got one, two, three, four, five different positions. You can have it swiveled and locked into plenty. Um, and it looks like the next step is preparing your seat. There's two bars underneath the seat I'm gonna have to remove. First the seat comes off, and then I'm gonna have to do some uh, rivet it, rivet removing. There are four nuts we gotta loosen up to remove the seat. Got one under here, one over here. These are tough to get at. There's one back there, and one right there. There's a nice drawer that I gotta work around or remove. 
And what I'm using here is a <clears throat> 19 millimeter socket. I can barely get at it, but I'm getting at it. Slow and steady. Well, these are little ones are easier to get at. Much easier. Here's a little drawer that was underneath. This is gonna need a little cleanup. All right, time to remove four bolts. So it looks like that. And hence, and hence. And remove, <coughs> excuse me, it might be tough to see. Bolts here, here, and there's two more on the other side of the bottom. All right, looks like a 10 millimeter is gonna do it. These bolts. Okay. That step's complete. And remember, keep the four bolts says you're gonna need them. All right, next thing we have to do is disconnect the two parts of the C pedestal here by removing this center part. Just gotta remove these two bolts. And you might have to use a wrench or something to hold the bolt in the back to get it loose. Once you got that piece apart too, it tells you to unhook the adjustment lever cable. Just slide this little spring down with a pinch of that little wire and we have them separated now to work on. Again, we got to remove these, it's dark to see, these black pieces. We need that. And like I said, we're gonna have to drill through these rivets here. Okay, so step five, it tells you to use an angle grinder with a flap disc to grind these off. You have four rivets on each of these pedestals here. It also says you can drill through them. Start with a small drill bit and work out. Uh, we're gonna try drilling through them since I don't have a grinder on me right now. Okay, so I did drill through them. Um, I don't really wanna do any damage to pieces I'm gonna use I'm gonna I got a hammer but it's, he does say dark does say you can grab a chisel and uh, hammer and chisel these right off as well so I'm gonna do that and give that a go okay so some help from my buddy James thank you James I uh, are able to get these pieces off I'm just trying to this one's good. There's still a little rivet nut. So I'm just gonna try to shake that out. If you remove this spring, that allows you know this thing to slide up back and forth. Be able to loosen this up and it grab access to this big hole. Whoa! I was already able to get one of the rivets out. Now I'm just gonna figure out the other one. There it goes. Easy. Slide this back. Get the little spring and reattach. I think you had a few more steps there, but that did the trick for me. Okay, one step that uh, we need to do before we attach, we need to get a 5 16 inch drill bit. You need to drill from where we remove the top rivet and the bottom rivets. Nothing in the middle, but just the top and the bottom. Okay, because these screws that came with everything are gonna go in there. And those are the bolts you sent. Like so. Alright, one down, do the other three. Alright, 
now you want to put uh, put in these 5 16 bolts that um, he sent you, Derek. So in order to get them in there, you have to slide the track forward a bit or back, depending on which way you got to go. Okay, it's time to put these uh, back onto the seat. All right, the bolts you used to take them off. You're gonna reuse them, so you kept them somewhere safe. And I'd start with uh, with the handle, put them on with the handle, put it on the right side, not the wrong side, facing up, like so. And don't over tighten. You wanna keep them loosely in there because you're gonna have to align it later. Attach the spring here. Like so, just bring back over this locking. Now we're ready to attach this to the base here. Alright, we're just going to slide it back, make sure everything's aligned. Derek does say to keep this loose for some adjustments. I mean, I just put it on there. I feel like it's going to line up just fine. So I'm going to give it a go and tighten it down and see if I can still make everything work. Now it tells you when you get these in for the front, no washers needed. <laughs> The back requires two washers because of the curvature of the uh, railings it sits on. It needs to be elevated a little bit to use the washers he gave you. Oh. A little awkward, but you can get it done. All right, we're getting towards the end here, which is nice. Just got to tighten down these four bolts to the chair. And then the four bolts to the ground here. Um, what he suggests, because these will just spin and spin and spin. Um, what do you suggest? You know what I mean? Get a cheap flathead and kind of wedge it like so. You just hold it steady. That way you're able to tighten up the bolt from below. Really gotta wedge it good, it seems like. There we go. That's starting to grab. All right, this takes a little bit of finesse. So you wanna do that for all four, and then we can tighten it down, and we can swivel. And the last part what we need to do is Tighten down the four bolts that actually hold this whole swivel. <clears throat> All right, testing, testing. Seatbelt down. Wow. Oh la la. Oh well. King in the castle. King in the castle. I have a chair. I have a chair. That really opens it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It also swings all the way out this way too. If you ever just wanna, I don't know. Kick it here. So yeah, I think that's a wrap on the swivel. 
Just about got everything I need in here. A few essentials still need to be bought. And yeah. We'll catch you on the next one.